Hey guys, it's Miss Caitlin here uh, for this week's Bring in the Joyful Noise. And uh, great news, my foot is back in working order, so I will be up doing the dances this week with you guys. Um, so to start things off, I want to start with our Bible verse. Remember, it's Joshua 1, 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Now, I haven't really heard from anybody about whether they've memorized it or not, but hopefully when we come back, once all this craziness is over, you'll be able to show me the hand motions and things with it um, when we do the song in, at church. So anyway, we'll, we'll start off with that one, and then we'll move on to two new songs. So I'll see you all in a minute. <laughs> Guys, the next song I picked, I picked because, um, you know, the Bible talks a lot about praising God with music and dance. And um, David in the Psalms, he, he talks about it all the time. And he's got Psalms that are about how excited he is to worship God and, and the power of God and the greatness of God. And so uh, I've picked a lot of songs that have talked about that lately, just talking about how awesome and powerful he is and how we have our hope in him. So I, I picked this one and it's called Power Shuffle. And it's got an extra dance to it, and boy, it, it's going to wear me out. So you guys are just going to have to do better than I do, because I know y'all are in way better shape than I am. But I hope you enjoy it. It's lots of fun, uh, and I cannot wait to do it with you guys when we're all in the building together. Um, make sure you've got plenty of space. Oh, and one more warning. Miss um, Cartwright forgot that when she's filming herself, um, it's flipped around for you guys. So it's going to tell you to take some steps to the left and to take some steps to the right. And I'm going to look like I'm going the wrong way because I'm opposite of you guys, just like when I'm up in front of you on the stage. So I just forgot to switch it so that you would go the same direction I was going. So just you're, you're smart kids. You know, hopefully you know your left and your right. And if you don't, that's okay. Just go ask mom and dad or go ask somebody smarter than me and they'll be able to help you. But you're taking some steps to the left and you're taking some steps to the right. You're going to do the opposite of what I do on the video, okay? And I hope you guys enjoy it. It's lots of fun. Here and 
Guys, for our last song this week, um, I wanted to slow things down a little bit, and here's why. We have been talking a lot about uh, worshiping God with music and with dance, and I mentioned earlier that, that David wrote lots of psalms that are exciting, and they're just praising God for how great he is, but David also wrote a lot of psalms um, begging God to rescue him, showing God honestly how scared he is, honestly, how hurt he is, honestly, how lost he is, uh, and just begging for God to come and love him and rescue him and, and take him out of that, that darkness. And, you know, I was having a talk um, with my mom this week, and she's been watching some of these videos, and she's like, Caitlin, I don't get it. How do you have time to clean your house before these videos every week? Your house just looks perfect. You've got no trash anywhere to be seen. Everything looks so nice and neat and organized. I, I don't understand. It, it makes me feel like I, I can't keep my house clean enough because of how yours looks. And um, I realize I haven't been completely honest with you guys. I, I want to let y'all in on a secret. So every week before me and Mr. Josh do these videos, we do what we call a frantic clean. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So basically for a frantic clean, I look at what's going to actually show up in the camera view. And then I make sure there's nothing bad in the way of it. So let me actually show you what's going on behind the scenes. There's mine and Mr. Cartwright's mess from doing school. Oh, here's some laundry that was on the couch that I just threw off over onto the floor and I'm going to have to wash again. Pile of shoes and bam, there's my kitchen counter. I took all of the stuff that I haven't cleaned yet from over here and up there, and I put it all there where you couldn't see it. Now that y'all seen some of my mess, I want to let you in on a secret. Every Christian lives with a lot of mess in their life. They live with a lot of hurt, a lot of fear, a lot of guilt, and a lot of things that they're not sure about. But they also live with a lot of hope in their life. They know that God is there to clean up the mess. They know God is there to help them put the pieces back together. And they know God is there to love them no matter how much laundry they just throw on the floor. Right now, guys, there's a lot of bad things going on. I know sometimes maybe your parents seem scared. Or maybe your teachers seem worried. Or maybe someone in your family has gotten sick. Or maybe it's other things that have nothing to do with the virus going on. It's okay. Last week, Mr. Josh talked in his video about the Book of Lamentations and about how it's okay to bring our worries and our fears to God. He wants to hear from us. He wants to hear the honest cries of our heart, not the lies, not the best face forward. Guys, this is not what my house looks like 90% of the time. This is, this is the, what I want you to see. The truth is there's a mess. So I want to be honest with you guys. This next song really, I really love it. You know, there have been several times in my life that I have just had to cry out to God, rescue me, God, because I don't know how to handle 
what's going on. And right now with all of the, the fear and the uncertainty, there have been lots of times that I've just had to say, God, please rescue me. I don't know what to do. So I want to invite you guys to worship with me. Watch the song one time, listen to the words so that you know them, and then do it again. And really worship. It doesn't matter if you get the motions right. It doesn't matter if you get the words right. As long as you're honest in here about what you're thinking and what you're feeling, God's going to love that worship. It's like a beautiful song to him, no matter how crazy it sounds. As long as we're honest with him, it's beautiful worship to him. Believe that he can take care of us. Believe that he can rescue us. But no, hurting and things like that, they're natural parts of life. We just have to have faith that God's going to bring beauty out of all of that. So that's why I picked this next song. It really spoke to me and where I've been this week. I hope you enjoy it. Um, you'll notice Miss Cartwright closes her eyes a lot during this song. And that's because for me, it's easier to worship when I'm not worried about other people seeing me. I know that sounds silly because I'm the only one in the house apart from Mr. Cartwright and he's hiding in one of the other rooms so that I don't have to worry about it. But worship how you want to worship. Don't worry about what other people think. Don't worry about what other people see. You're not putting on a show for anyone. You don't have to put your best foot forward and look perfect. You just have to be honest with God and worship with your whole heart. I love you guys and this is our last song for the week. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed week. And if there's anything you need me to pray for you for or anything that you, you want to talk to somebody about, feel free to reach out to me and Mr. Josh. I hope you enjoy this song as much as I did. And I hope you have a very, very blessed time. I'll see y'all later. Far off course, how can I get?